Hello everybody, this is Mike again from Scratch, and today we're going to be taking a look at Windows-based C++ IDEs. Now there was a release yesterday of a product that completely came out of left field for me, so that's why I went about making this list, just so um, you're not shocked by the existence of some of the products that are out there. And the release that was, or that occurred was uh, KDevelop was released. Now KDevelop is an IDE uh, for the KDE desktop on the Linux platform. It's been around forever. I 15 years probably and early on it was pretty much a visual c++ clone ide for the linux world which was actually pretty cool because the linux world didn't really have a lot going in the way of ides but had a lot more like text editor type you know people basically used emacs or vim and if those weren't your thing you were kind of out of luck so as a windows developer in linux land it was a godsend to find this guy well the the shocking news was with this new release of kdevelop there's actually a Windows and soon to be Mac version of KDevelop available. And I had no idea that this had happened. You know, the truth of the matter is, if you're a developer in the world of uh, Windows, a C++ developer, chances are you're using Visual Studio. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with using Visual Studio or Visual C++. They're great choices. The community version is available for free. Uh, but I do want to open your eyes to some of the other options that are out there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run through some of the various different IDEs that are available for C++ developers on the Windows platform. Now, most, if not pretty much all minus one of these plat of these IDEs are actually available for any platform. So you can sort of ignore the Windows caveat, but this is pretty much aimed at Windows developers or people using Visual C++. Now I'm not gonna give you the merits of each one. I just want you to make you avail or aware that they exist and you can do the research yourself if you don't like the one you're currently using. So this is more of an informational, hey, Guys, this is what's out there kind of post. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, the first one we talked about, obviously, was KDevelop. Um, you can see it here in front of you. The newest release brought some pretty nice stuff. Its back end is now uh, Clang-based. Uh, they added um, new debugger support. They added uh, CPP check support, uh, a bunch of other things. Uh, Python support was added back in, etc. Now, I should put a throw, throw a little caveat in here so that I don't uh, offend certain people. There are a lot of editors that can effectively be turned into IDEs. We're not talking about those. We are talking about products only that brand themselves as IDEs. So uh, the fact that Notepad++, Code Lite, um, C oh, sorry, not code light, um, sublime text, uh, various other text editors don't show up on this list. It's not a, a knock against them. I just didn't peg them into the IDE category. So KDevelop was released. It's available for download on those uh, two plus one platforms, uh, completely free open source. And of course, the next up we've got, this one is of course Windows only, and that is the Daddy Visual Studio, which includes Visual C++. As I said earlier, if you're doing uh, C++ development, you're probably on the Windows platform, you're probably using Visual C++. Now Visual C++ has nice cross compiling tools. So you can use C++ on Visual Studio to compile for other targets such as Android and a lot of the consoles out there, a lot of uh, PlayStation 4 or Xbox One developers will be working in Visual Studio. Um, it's commercial, uh, actually it's quite expensive, but they've got a community version available which is full functioning with some limitations. There's a limit to your revenue, I think it's about a million bucks and five developers on your team. Uh, so if you hit those criteria, you can, of course, get Visual Studio for free. Now, do be aware it is Windows only. Uh, and again, I don't want to say this comprehensively, but it might be the only Windows only uh, IDE I'm about to mention on this list. Uh, now let's carry on. Next one we've got is Qt Creator. Now Qt, you've probably heard of, it's uh, by, used to be a company called Troll Tech, and I think they're now called Qt. Uh, but basically they've created this cross-platform um, windowing API. So basically there used to be a couple of these things. There used to be OWL, there used to be MFC, and there used to be QT. And it's a way of doing Windows programming, not Windows platform, but Windowed code programming cross platform. So they provide all the common things like dialogues, buttons, and then all the logic you need behind that. And then since then, QT has devolved way beyond that. So now it provides data structures. Um, a lot of the kind of stuff that Boost provides, QT gets into that. So it's a big cross-platform development framework these days. Well, Qt Creator is their shockingly good C++ IDE. Um, so if you're a Qt developer, Qt Creator is probably your best choice, although Qt also has plugins for uh, other IDEs out there. Uh, but if you're looking for a cross-platform C++ IDE, definitely check out Qt Creator. My only real slam against it is it is ginormous. Like the, the install was 
20, 30 gigs by default when I did it. Now granted, it all comes down to the platforms you choose, etc. but uh, do be careful installing it. It can really take up a lot of space. Uh, now next up we're gonna get into um, probably the ultimate cross-platform maker of IDEs, and that is JetBrains. JetBrains are known for IDEs such as PHP Storm, WebStorm, IntelliJ IDE, uh, for, um, or so IDEA, uh, for Java developers, etc. Well, they've thrown their hat into the uh, C++ development uh, platform as well. We've got um, C Lion. Uh, it's available cross-platform. Now this guy is unfortunately commercial software. Uh, so we've got to look at the price tag here. It is 200 bucks for the first year. So definitely not the cheapest option on this list. Uh, but I am a huge fan of uh, JetBrains products. I am a subscriber for WebStorm. Uh, it's, it's actually substantially cheaper, however. Uh, but definitely one of those ones you should check out. Now the nice thing about getting on the JetBrains train is once you've learned one, you can kind of move between between all the other different languages. So if you're like me and you're developing in a dozen different languages, having a consistent experience across them is very valuable. And they've also recently released a uh, C Sharp in beta version uh, IDE as well. So um, C Line is definitely an option there if you uh, have a budget, that is. Now, another free open source one is CodeBlocks. Um, CodeBlocks is uh, Free open source, actively developed. It's at version 16.01, which was released back in uh, January. So it's very active on its going. Uh, I haven't used it a whole lot, to be honest. Um, it, it, it's popular among a certain subset for sure. Uh, I Again, I don't have a whole lot of experience with it. So um, I can't make many comments beyond the fact that it's free. It's a full featured IDE. Um, it's open source and it's available on a number of different platforms. And oddly enough, it targets the Fortran language. And so this is the strangest combination of languages I've ever seen of C, C++ and Fortran. Uh, but eh. um, next up we've got NetBeans. Now NetBeans straight out is a Java IDE, which, yeah, and on top of that, the people behind the project is Oracle. Now, if I was going to pick the top five companies that suck, Oracle is really high up that list. Probably number two, and I'm not telling you who number one is, but let's just say Oracle is a crap company, and that doesn't stop NetBeans from actually being a surprisingly good IDE. It's a great little Java IDE, uh, but on top of that, it's actually really good when you add the C++ functionality. It's a very good um, platform for doing C++ development. Uh, so if for some reason the other ones aren't appealing to you, do definitely check out NetBeans. It's surprisingly capable as a C++ IDE. It's fairly lightweight. It's performant. I, I've actually got no complaints with it. If uh, Visual Studio didn't exist, uh, this would probably be high up my considerations. And again, it runs on, again, what is this thing? C, C++ and Fortran. I guess there's a lot of call for Fortran developers out there. Uh, but it's available on Windows, Linux, OS X, and Slayer, so as you can see here. So pretty good cross-platform there. Another one, and this one actually kind of shocked me because I thought it didn't exist anymore, but C++ Builder is out there and it is a thing. Now, I haven't um, used C++ Builder for ages. And this was actually a really cool concept is um, Borland, uh, who well, they've changed names three or four times. I think Borland may ultimately have turned into this company, but Borland used to be probably the preeminent C++ IDE maker. Um, then Visual Studio kind of came around or yeah, Visual Studio kind of stole most of its thunder, then stole all of its thunder, and then Borland really struggled in that market. But back in the day, what they did was they tried to take Borland C++ and Delphi and kind of mash them together and make um, a visual basic type programming experience for C++ developers. And, you know, Microsoft went on to try to do this as well with uh, C++.net. Um, to varying degrees of success, but C++ Builder actually came very close to doing it. Now, I haven't used this guy in a long, long time. I, I have no real opinion on this IDE. I just want you to be available, be knowledgeable that it is available, but it is cross-platform. It's cross-platform in a surprising way. It actually targets, uh, where did the class platform list go? I don't know. I saw it earlier. All right, not sure where that went, but it's you've, you've got the ability to target um, all your major desktop platforms and most of your mobile platforms as well. Yeah, here we go. So uh, Windows 32, 64, iOS, and Android are all targeted. I thought 
I thought Mac was as well. I guess I'm wrong there. And we've got uh, full C++11 support with C++17 and Linux support coming very soon. Uh, so it's a it's a definitely another option out there. I can't give you an opinion on it because I've only just recently became you know aware that this has been in development still. Uh, but it is something I am personally going to check out. Now you do notice it is commercial uh, software. Uh, so there's a free trial available. Let's just check out what the price actually is on this guy. Oh, wow. Okay, the price is a lot. Uh, so the professional version is $1,400. The enterprise version is three grand and the architect version is almost five grand. So um, I take that back. I'm not gonna be checking it out. Uh, all right, so moving on. Another uh, Java IDE that is actually shockingly good at C++ is Eclipse with CDT, the C development tooling. It's basically a plugin that you install to Eclipse and turn Eclipse into a C++ IDE. I'm not gonna get into my personal opinion of how much I hate Eclipse. Yeah, yeah, we'll just leave it there. Uh, so moving on, we have another one that I am not recommending on any level whatsoever. Uh, I actually don't have any recent experience with the forked version, but I have experience with the version that came before, and I, it is what I would call a blight. <laughs> yeah, a blight. So the new version might be a lot better, but they forked what I consider a blight on the software world. So you're not going to hear a ringing endorsement from me, and I'm not going to bother checking it out beyond that. But I'm throwing it on this list because there is a rabid fan base, and whenever it is not included on the list, even when it hadn't been under development for like, 10 years, people always said, well, you missed, and it used to be called Bloodshed C++ or Dev C++, and now it's been forked, it's available, it's open source, I think it might might be Windows only, I'm not 100% on that one, um, but yeah, for some reason, some people really, really love this guy, if you, if you want, check it out. Um, and then finally, the one that I made a mistake on earlier, and again, I don't have any real experience on this guy, it's Code Light. Now, Code Light is on this list because it is calling itself an IDE right here. Now, I can't actually promise you that this isn't a glorified text editor, or a, not a glorified text editor, that's insulting to text editors, but it might be in the same level as um, you know Sublime Text, etc., just with some plugins available right off the hop. But it is a um, IDE, cross-platform, free, open source for C, C++, PHP, JavaScript, and it runs on all major platforms, which include OS X, Windows, and Linux. Uh, so as you can see, it's available for a lot of Linux distributions. And again, I have absolutely zero experience with Code Lite. Uh, one of those things I should probably check out one of these days, but I haven't as of yet. Uh, so that's my list. Those are the um, the biggest current active um, C++ IDEs that I am aware of. There might be more out there, and if there are, please do let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I hope I opened your eyes to some software that exists out there, some of the uh, alternatives or options that are available. You know, some people look at Visual Studio and go, ugh, way too bloated. And, you know, it got a lot better with Visual Studio 2017, but I totally understand the mindset and the mentality behind that. And sometimes software just doesn't fit you, so you're out there looking for alternatives. Well, here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, great name for the title. There are ten um, IDEs for C++ available on Windows with, I believe, at least eight of those available cross-platform as it stands. Uh, so I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do click like. And we cover all kinds of game development topics here. So if this is your thing, uh, please do hit subscribe. And apparently subscribe isn't what it used to be. So you apparently got to click a bell as well now too. Uh, so if you want to get updates on what I do, do click that bell as well. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please, of course, if you've got any experience with any of these IDEs, um, do let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what your actual opinions are. And if I missed one, uh, please do let me know. Um, and uh, you know, I won't add it to the list, but at least people reading the comments can learn the options. And if I make another one of these in the future, I at least will be aware of it. And as it stands, you know, I, I did not know about the first ID, which started this entire thing off in the first place. I like to know about everything if I can. So uh, if I've missed an ID uh, available on Windows, please do let me know. I'm very, very interested in hearing about it, and I would love to hear your opinion on it. All right, hope someone found that useful. See you all later. Goodbye.